Hey guys, this episode we're going to be walking through the pull request I just made to Request.js to add the query option to it. I just want to give you more examples of making open source contributions so that you can hopefully do more of them in the future yourself. So when I was working on the dynamic select with Hotwire episode for GoRails, I wrote a stimulus controller that uses Request.js and it makes an Ajax request with some parameters in the URL. So when we select a country here like Andorra, it will make an Ajax request to the server and if we pull up that list of requests, we'll see that it made this request here. States, and then it has country, AD, and a target in the URL. And those URL parameters are ones that I had to build up myself in the JavaScript and append to the URL. So let's take a look at that JavaScript. It looks like this. When the select box changes, it calls this function in stimulus. It creates a new URL search params object, which allows you to manage and add and remove and append um, URL parameters. And this just generates that query parameter string itself. So it doesn't generate the full URL, just that little portion. So we go ahead and we include that parameter. In this case, it was called country. And we use the value of the selected option in that dropdown, in our case, Andorra's uh, country code. And then we append the target so that Hotwire can update the correct field on the page. And then we make this URL that combines the URL and the parameters. And I was, as I was using this, I realized it'd be nice if we could say this.url value, and we could just pass in the query and pass in the params like so, and have that as an object that we could just add anything we wanted to.